so good. Five star. I'm literally gonna finish this book in less than 24 hours. Because I've gotten like, I think like not even a third. Okay, I've gotten to like a fifth. But I stopped after like months. Like I think I bought this book like maybe two months ago and it's just been sitting here collecting dust because I think I've had a, like a boring part. Um, so I'm gonna skim through the first half and see what I read. Um, I know like the premise is like Avery, the main character, she um, gets an inheritance of like like billions of dollars and she the only thing is that she has to live in this mansion for a year before she gets it um but she doesn't know who this person is that like put her in the will like she has no no idea who this hawthorne per people are so um yeah that's the only premise i know i'm gonna finish this literally tonight like or tomorrow morning um i'm just gonna give you guys a review um, there's a little marker of where I've already finished um, but yeah I'm on chapter I'm on chapter 15 but that was me like a couple months ago so I have to refresh my memory and see what I read because I have no idea what I read I also know this is a trilogy um, there's three books I think but I only picked up the first year first book because I don't know if I like it enough to buy the other two because um, I'm more into romance and i thought this was gonna be romance and apparently there's like a little bit of romance but there's not a lot so hopefully i'll like it even though it doesn't have a lot of romance in it um but yes i will keep you guys updated also i want to point out in this video um if my voice seems a little weird it's because allergy season is upon us and i have the worst allergy symptoms right now so my nose is all stuffy and i literally can't breathe um but yes so that's why like my voice is a little different and i'm like sniffling okay i'm back from work so it's 8 23 p.m um i didn't get to read a lot at work so we'll see how far i get um tonight hopefully i finish but yeah i'm not gonna lie i'm on chapter 16 and i cannot get through this book there's a real reason why i stopped because i feel like it's just so boring like I get that we have to introduce the characters and all that, but it just, it, it's so boring to me that I can't get through it, um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep pushing through even though it's not my favorite right now, but Nash does seem like a hottie, so that's a little added thing there, but. One thing I do like about these is that the chapters are super short. Okay, how is Xander eating all these scones? He's picked up a fourth scone. Okay, badass. She said, my house, my rules. Badass, Avery. Go ahead. I'm on chapter 18, and um, I'm gonna stop here for a minute and go shower, and then I'll catch up with this next so i'm currently on chapter 19 and i think i found a typo it says i also think you're a lot less smooth than you think are i don't know if that's like the type of like accent he talks in um because he's talking with jameson right now but i think that's a little weird you know because I had I reread it I reread that sentence I think like three times because I was like wait did I just read what I thought I read but I guess I it's either a typo or that's the way he talks um, but yeah it's still really boring there are secret tunnels in this house which is a little scary nothing's really coming at me so yeah I'll continue reading I literally just read um, the end of chapter 25 where Thea tells Avery that 
The last girl who spent hours after hours in that house, she died. Well, we know Miss Avery isn't going to die because she's smart. Maybe she found a secret out and she wasn't supposed to know. I'm putting in my theories. Um, I'm finally on page 103. So um, this book has like 300 pages. Uh, I'm not even halfway th through yet. I think I'm like uh, maybe like a, a fourth. Uh, so. And the time currently is... 9:48. I'm hoping I get halfway at 11. But yeah. I hate Grayson right now. Like why is he so mean? Like he's like stay away from my family. I'm going to know everything about you in days. Like you're only here for the money. Like girly did not choose this life. This life chose her. Rude. Honestly. I don't like Grayson. Um and I wonder who this Emily girl is. But yeah, personally, if I was Avery, I would just tell, like, Oran or, or Alyssa, like, who asked them about Emily. Maybe they would tell her. Because, like, I'm assuming she they would. But, I mean, work smarter, not harder, Avery, to fuck. But yeah. The Grayson and Avery tension is crazy. I'm at chapter um, 39. It's 10:47, um, or almost halfway. But I have I do this thing where like when I read, I have to change positions, or else um, I get bored and I won't read. Like I was laying on my bed, and then I realized that I just started scrolling on my phone and not reading um so i had to change positions why is that so hard for me to say but yeah i'm gonna continue reading hopefully i get to like chapter 50 by like 11 30 but we'll see oh by like 12 by the end of the night hopefully uh, it's 91 chapters and i'm on 39 so right now we're talking to sky hawthorne um and she's asking to speak with Avery alone. I feel like Jameson is fine. Like, he's whatever. He's kind of quirky, but, like, he's fine. Like, I feel like I can trust him. Grayson, on the other hand, mm, he's a little bit untrustworthy. But, I mean, I think all the Hawthorne brothers are okay. Like, I don't think they're bad in any sort. The only people we gotta look out for is the aunties, the 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 daughters of of um uh, of mr hawthorne grandpa hawthorne himself um and also like thea that's her name she's irrelevant but thea yeah i think we gotta look out for her too are we booting drake out like is drake gone from the book now because i want him to be gone hopefully he's gone but i feel like he'll have like a redemption arc i feel like he's gonna come back for blood or something i don't know I'm only on chapter 47 and the last word of ch the last sentence of chapter 46 made me literally like I literally got some shivers when Jameson said I watched Emily Laughlin die girl what is so big about this Emily girl like is she gonna be a big part of the whole plot cuz like I want to know how she died they say she had a heart condition so my theory is maybe she liked Grayson and then you know how Grayson's mysterious and all that maybe he was actually very open and um he liked Emily and maybe they had a falling apart and she died who knows 11 14 now so hopefully I get through everything I get to chapter 50 by 11 30 that's what I'm hoping but just got to the Jameson and Avery kiss and when he just like interrupted like that like amazing moment to just be like oh someone obviously didn't want us looking at that tree like I'm shocked I feel for Avery like it's like she's not special in his eyes he's she's literally just a game to him she was feeling things for him. Ugh. Uh, you need to run. Run from these boys. But it's 11.34 now. I'm like 
Uh, I would say I'm over halfway, I would say. Uh, I think I have around a couple, I have like 30-ish chapters left. But yeah. <sighs> My goodness. Bro, how big is this house? Like, I swear to God, they keep describing it and like it seems like it's endless like it's miles and miles big like long like i like how is there so many wings i just read that libby could potentially be bad and libby could potentially just want to kill avery oh please we made Libby out to be a very good character. Please don't ruin her character. Hello? Also, why is Drake still in this? He's so irrelevant. Like, leave him in the past. Oh my god. I'm sick of Drake. I literally hate Drake. There has to be a reason. You know? There has to be a reason. Nash being so protective of Libby, Libby though. I see some romance over there. Also, like, I think I would be so mad at my team, like, if, like, I was a chess piece, like, Avery, and you guys just put my life in danger, like, I would be so mad at my team. I would get a new team. Uh, she's giving words of affirmation. Landon said, I'm grateful to be alive, and I'm grateful to be here tonight. Slay. Oh, it's like, oh, no, this is, like, media, media training. I'm almost done with this book, literally almost done, and the time is midnight. It's literally midnight right now. The million, the billion dollar question. If Drake had shot me and Libby hadn't let him onto the state, who had? My bet is um, Sky or the one of the Laughlins. I feel like Rebecca hasn't had a long sto a big storyline. I feel like Rebecca. Oh my god. So, oh wait. Oren is telling Avery how Drake may have gotten into the estate through via secret passages. And then in the recent chapters, Avery was saying how there was someone behind the secret passage in her room and she was gonna open it but instead she she told Oren it might have been Drake just there listening and waiting for her to open up <gasps> that's so scary bro I literally got chills oh my god only people that know the locations I feel like are the brothers, right? I feel like we haven't gotten a lot of Xavier in this book. Maybe it's Xavier. I'm coming in to say that Thea, I literally hate her. Why would she make Avery dress up like Emily? It's what Emily would have wanted. Be so for real with me, Thea. Oh my god, that's so... See, I knew there was something wrong with Thea, and my assumptions were correct. She is crazy, just like her whole family. Oh my god, ew, she said. I told you the day we met that the Hawthorne family was a twisted, broken mess. She stared at the mirror a moment longer. I never said that I wasn't one too. Girl, be so real with me. Ugh. Oh, I'm eight, but I'm at page 300. We passed the 300 mark. Hey, we have about like 70 pages left. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna finish this by 1 a.m. So, I'm doing pretty good. I knew it. I knew Rebecca had something more to her plot line. She knew where these tunnels were. I knew it. I knew it. What can I say? Okay, but why is Emily so mad at Thea and Rebecca's relationship? Like, you should be supportive. Oh my god. 
She's gonna kill Avery, bro. Oh, it was Sky. Oh my god, it was Sky. Okay, wait, I called this. I knew it was Sky. Because I remember when the scene when they when she was in the bathtub and like she was drinking her champagne and she was like, Well, you're not Emily. She was already giving me iffy vibes, so we've been known. I think it's not Rebecca. At least Rebecca is not a liar. That's good. I just finished the book. Oh my goodness. It is 12.52, um, almost 1am, but I have finished the book. The book is done! Oh my god, I've never finished a book this quickly. I have finished the book. Holy crap. I have a lot of thoughts. Um, I will say, I like the pace of it at the end. Um, I like, I like the, the, the puzzles and all that. Um, that was very exciting. At some points, it was a little creepy and scary. Um, but I do think that the beginning, like, kind of like the beginning, like, 30-ish chapters were kind of unnecessary. Like, I feel like it was really slow um, for some reason. Um, but I... I would recommend I would recommend it for people that like um, something that is different. Um, I definitely wouldn't read it again. I don't know if I would read the uh, the sequel. Like in the end, spoilers. If you don't want spoilers, like skip. Um, but like in the end, he says like go find like. Hawthorne, to to Toby, 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 essentially Toby the second, um, which is Harry, Avery's, Avery the person that he was playing chess with, um, so that kind of sets you up for like what's gonna be in the second book. I feel like I don't, I don't really need to read that. Like I'm okay with reading this book and then calling it like a day. Um, but yeah, but like I'm happy I read it once but i definitely wouldn't read it again um since i'm more into like romance and like just a bunch of love like i'm so into romance books um when i read something like this it's just not my cup of tea but i'm happy that i read it to know what it was about because it did seem very very interesting and um i'm happy that i read it you know i don't know i wish there was more there was like one kissing scene and like that was it for like the relationship between avery and jameson like there was no other like uh relationship or romance so it was really like puzzle and like i would say maybe thriller focused um it wasn't really romance focused which i think low-key i kind of thought it was um uh, based on like the tiktoks and things that i saw um because this is a uh tiktok book i thought it was like that but i it wasn't but it's okay um i still had like a really good time and i really enjoyed reading it yeah i would not read it again um but it was it was enjoyable um out of five stars I would probably give it around like a 3.5. I think the beginning was very, very slow. And there could have been things that were kind of cut out. Like, I feel like the Emily storyline was very long for some reason. Like, I understand like, oh, Emily was a big plot line. But in the end, it didn't really add a lot to it. Like uh a spoiler again like emily was just kind of like just there yeah she she like brought jameson and gray together but it still didn't add a lot to it like i was like intrigued on how she died but like she ended up just dying because 
her heart failed like that was about it like nobody like kills her or anything so i don't know that was that was one thing um i also thought that uh this book would be uh kind of very thriller and like being like oh avery is running away from this whole family because they're trying to kill her but in the end it was just like sky and drake that was killing her that was trying to kill her and like that was it so i don't know it just it it was not, it's not my favorite book uh, i would recommend people reading it once and even if they read it i wouldn't recommend buying like a physical copy unless you really really like reading physical copies like i would just get it off like a kindle for way cheaper because i think i paid around thirteen dollars for this book um at target so yeah i would just recommend like if you were to, wanting to read it just read um the online kindle version instead of the actual version um or if you get it second hand cheaper um i would recommend that but yeah i wouldn't pay full price to read it so maybe if i had like extra time like if i want to read something in between my romances i would read the sequel to this but i have no desire to read the sequel uh if if you guys understand but yeah me oh wait i read this book in about like i would say about like eight hours combined with the already read beginning part i would say about 10 hours um which is not bad at all for 300 pages less than 24 hours and i read this book um which i'm really proud of because i don't usually read a lot of books so give me your suggestions of what i should read next um maybe i'll power through the love hypothesis i can't get myself to read that book but maybe i'll power through that one um let me know but anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!